Hello, fourth graders. We're going to call this lesson 6.18. And we are looking at fractions and decimals today and playing a little matching game with those because our uh, we have this objective here that says, I will identify fraction and decimal equivalents for halves and fourths. And you can see in this standard here where it talks about where we have different examples of halves and fourths. So what I want to talk about here, let's talk about things that we have done um, before. So how, how do we change these fractions, right? Three tenths, eight tenths, one tenth. How do those become decimals? Hey, we just put a decimal point, and usually we put a, a zero here, right? Because there's no hole. Decimal point and three. Zero and eight tenths. How would I write the one tenth? Yes, of course, right? Zero and one tenth. So this is, these are how we convert these fractions to decimals, right? When we have a 10 on the bottom, we're talking about tenths. And so that just goes directly into the tenths place. Remember this? What about the hundredths? What do we do to convert these fractions into decimals? Okay, we have our zero whole, right? And if we had a mixed number, that would change things. We'll look at that. And then six in the tenths place and five in the hundredths, right? We'd have 91 hundredths here. Be careful. Oops, 91 hundredths. What is wrong if I do this? What's wrong with that? That's four tenths, right? That would be four tenths like this. But we want to have four hundredths. And so what I need to do here is to put zero in the tenths place. This is four hundredths. What would four, what would nine hundredths be? 0 0.09. All right, we got this. So when we have a denominator that is not 10 or 100, what do you think we do? Well, let's look at one here. One half. How do you think we might turn this into a decimal? All right, let me talk about one half. Let's put it on a screen by itself because it deserves it. So one half. Now, what we can't do, we can't just um, say, okay, it's got a one and a two in it. So I'm going to go um, like this because... This is 12 hundredths, 12 out of 100. And that's not equal to half, right? 12 is not half of 100. So that's not going to work. But what we can do is change this fraction so that it has a denominator of tenths or hundredths. I'm going to pick tenths. So look here, right? Remember this equivalent fractions rule? You can see how all these things that we do start to come together, right? We remember we spent a unit talking about decimals. Then we spent another unit and we focused on the equivalent fraction rule. And, and see, they come together. Isn't math cool like that, right? So two times something, two times five equals 10. So one times five equals five. Now this is easy to change into a decimal, zero and five tenths. What, what if, what if somebody said this, zero and 50 hundredths, right or wrong and why? This would be, both of these are acceptable, okay? Both of these are the same value. Hey, if you remember the grids that we did, right? This one would have five columns filled up all the way, five long pieces. And this one would have uh, 50 of the little boxes in the hundreds grid. Hey, okay? so these are equal. If you want to see it uh, this way, we could, right? Five tenths, 50 hundredths, 
as fractions and times 10 on both, right? If you can multiply the same number on the top and the bottom, then those are equivalent. So that is how we can tackle the one half here. Let's see what's under this one. Dun, 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 dun. Two fifths. Oh my goodness, two fifths. Well, hmm. And this time you'll you can you can help me out here. Oh, not one fifth. Two fifths. Two fifths. So two fifths is equal to how many tenths? Well, let's see. What could what what when you're gonna need to multiply by the same number on the top and on the bottom to be able to solve what would go here? What would go there? This would equal four tenths. All right, look and what look why, right? Five times two and two times two. So four tenths. Four tenths I know is written like this: 0 0.4. So two fifths is equivalent to four tenths like that, right? Not like this. Nope. Okay, that's different. All right, let's see what else we have here. We have two fifths. We have, what's under this one? Three fifths. Well, think about that, right? So two fifths was four tenths. Three fifths would be six tenths because we just have one more fifth. So we have, maybe we should label these as we go. We have zero and five tenths. We have zero and four tenths, zero and six tenths. What's under this one? I bet it's four fifths. Yep, all right. So look at this pattern here. Don't look at the, the, the half here. That's something separate, but look at the fifths. Four tenths, six tenths. What would, what would four fifths be? it would be eight tenths, or you could say 80 hundredths, right? Those are the same, eight tenths. All right, what's down here? One fourth, ooh, this is an interesting one. Let's think about one fourth here, because there, there's gonna be a problem here. What's the, what's the problem here? Yeah, there's nothing that makes that true. Okay, at least no whole numbers that make that true. Four times two would be eight, and four times three would be uh, 12. So that's not going to work, but watch this. We can make this work. We could make this work. Four times what equals 100? So we could make four times 25 here. Okay, four times 25. And if you think about money, we're gonna talk about money in just a second, but this is a little clue here um, that's gonna kind of give us money. Think about four of something to equal a dollar. Four times 25 equals 100. So one times 25 is going to equal 25 hundredths. And then that we just turn into like this. So 25 hundredths. One fourth is equal to 25 hundredths. This would be a good time to ask this question that I, I have here. And that is, how is this like money? How is this like money? Okay, so think about this. Four quarters in a dollar. So we have one fourth is 25 cents. Two fourths is one half. We already know that one. What about three fourths? Think about three quarters. What would that be? Yeah, 75 hundredths. So you can think about this as money as well. All right, now let's look at this as a visual, okay? Um, and we won't have time to get through all of these, but you'll have some um, that you get a chance to work on. So one fourth. If we colored in one fourth of this, this is just another way for you guys to see this, right? One fourth, well here, I'll just split it into fourths and then color in one of them. And we have 25 hundredths, right? One out of four, three out of four we know is 75 hundredths. Here's one fifth. 
Well, we could break this into five equal pieces like this. One, two, three, four, five. If we fill in one of those, you can see we've filled in 20 boxes. And then our other way to think about that is that this is equal to 2 tenths. So we could write 0 and 2 tenths, or we could write 0 and 20 hundredths. Those are the same. If you want to talk percents, we're not really going to talk percents today, but percents are out of 100. So this would be 20%. If you take a math quiz and you, well, there are five questions and you get one right, you get 20%, which hopefully you get more than that. All right, let's just do, oh, how about one more here? What do we have down here? One tenth, well, that one we can do. Let's do four fifths. So how many pieces do I need to divide this into? Five, right? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to color in four of them. All right, I'm going to do that real fast. It'll be nice and sloppy. All right, what is my decimal going to be here? It's going to be 80 hundredths or 8 tenths. And so I'm showing you this, how you can go at this in two different ways. We've got this visual that we could look at, think through, and then count up. We could also multiply the top and the bottom numbers, in this case times two, to get to eight tenths. Percent, 80 percent, percents you'll really focus on more in fifth grade. All right, last thing here. What about mixed numbers? You know, when we do, when we were doing these, we always put zero here and here. What about mixed numbers? I'll do the first one and then you'll do this, the second one here. If we had one and one half, well, I remember half of, a, of 10 is five. So this is gonna be the same as one and five tenths. We would just write that. Instead of putting zero here, we'd put one. Let's get a different color so it shows up better. One and five tenths or 50 hundredths if you prefer, okay? And what about this one? What would eight and three fourths equal? All right, eight and don't say three, don't say this. Nope, not that, not that, not that. Three fourths, that's like three quarters, right? In a, in a dollar, you have four quarters. If you have three of them, you have 75 cents. Eight and 75 hundredths. All right, so you'll get a chance to practice this uh, after the video. Our objective here is to be able to identify fraction and decimal equivalents for halves and fourths. We do kind of have to memorize these. Okay, these one half is equal to five tenths and one and three fourths is equal to one uh, and 75 hundredths. But I wanted you to see why these are equal, right? So it kind of help you think your, think your way through this. All right, fourth graders, that is all. If you need any help with fractions, decimals, or equivalencies for those, let me know, and good luck.